Welcome once again to a very interesting segment of this edition of the program Indeed. The Sacred um, Bond is a book that was released in the market that talks about marriage and relationships. Uh, one of the big question marks that um, are usually raised um, by a newly married couples is whether this love that we feel will always remain there, whether this relationship will change with time and once we have kids and once, uh, you know, uh, marriage passes through the first stage, this uh, romantic one. Well, this book tells us a lot about how to keep your marriage successful and to keep love um, surviving, hopefully, and alive. And we are very pleased to have with, with us the author of The Sacred Bond and also the family consultant, Mr. Mohammed Sharaf al -Din. Thank you very much for being with us I, I tonight. Guess, thank you. Yes, how are you? Um, love um, in marriage is a big question mark. Does it really exist or is it, you know, just talk? Well, uh, I want to ask it the other way. Is there love before marriage? <laughs> yes, actually, um, we put some uh, different feelings. We gave, it, we gave it the meaning of love, while the true love that is found after marriage, we, we don't give it the, the positive notions. We gave it some negative notions. And this, this is actually why people actually get confused. You know, their feelings get confused when they find out after love, that, uh, after, after marriage, that uh, the, the, this positive feeling that, uh, or these meanings that they put as positive things and, and the cold love that, that was before marriage is already uh, getting, you know, fading out and it's, uh, so, uh -huh. yes, and, and there is something you know, that makes them get used to each other that so much that they don't feel this, uh, they, they can't ignite this positive feeling again. Actually, um, uh, this, um, you know, the, the, the meanings that people have before, uh, or the couples have before love and the relationship is actually is, is the, the feeling that they, they need each other. They, they actually, they, they, the, the, the man starts to hunt his, the, the, the lady and he, he is trying all the approaches to have her, uh, you know, to be his and, and to confirm this feeling. And once he has her at home, uh, he feels as if he, he succeeded in, in his mission and mission done, you know, mm. and, and that's, uh, yani that's, that's what makes her feel, hey, I'm not chased again, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not I'm, he, he doesn't want me, mm. <laughs> and this, this actually is, is translated for some people uh, that this is uh, the end of love, that's actually, I, he got me, I got her, and it's done, you know, and, and that's, that's not the, the actual essence or that's not the actual meaning of love. The actual meaning of love is actually coming by practice. Yani I want to, I want to, to, to refer to something that um, what, what is yani really before marriage, mm -hmm. uh, this relationship that, that starts with phone calls, with the, the, the eagerness of knowing the other party, the, the eagerness of having the other party, the eagerness of, of completing your, your, your soul mate, you know, this uh, com completing yourself because you're, you're incomplete. Yani any one of us is really incomplete before marriage. Um, this, this feeling of fulfilling this, this part and really uh, completing your, 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 yourself with, the, with, your, with your mate is something that, um, that continues until the day of marriage. After marriage, what, what starts is that you are, you are now a complete, you are completed in a sacred bond. You are completed together in one uh, home, in, in one entity. You are now a family. You are now something that, that is really, uh, you, you, you just started practicing love. So, so uh, yani now you must put a positive, a positive notion to this relationship and start investing in it to get, yani, to feel the positiveness and, and the wellness of love. So basically, in short, it's a wrong perception of true love in, yes. in your words that prior it was um, kind of a state that the couple lives through and thinks yeah. that this is the romantic side of life. Yeah. But once they get married, this is the beginning of true love, yes. but they don't see it this way. Exactly. So how can you um, explain it to them or make them see it uh, the way it really is, this, this uh, sacred bond that brought them together and this sense, I, I understand, I relate to the idea of sacrifice because then you would actually be together and yeah, everyone builds credit for the other and you'd be willing to give for that person, something yeah. that you might have never done before to another person, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. So tell us more about those, those wrong perceptions and uh, why well, uh, Okay, uh, tell, yani, before in the relationship, during the relationship, you don't have this uh, luxury of having your, your uh, hot drink in the morning with your soulmate. Now mm. you have it. Come on. I isn't this true romance? Yani, yani, come on, yani, having this uh, uh, coffee, co your morning coffee with, with your t uh, true love, uh, maybe uh, there's in the balcony or in the living room or even in the bedroom. Hey, I mean, you didn't so have this So the things that they take for granted, basically. Yes. 
and and actually I, I want I want to blame media I'm here on media and <laughs> hey media come on <laughs> give a meanings the positive and, and, and the true thing the true notions that they deserve I mean that the romance that comes before before I any mean, this they, they put the frame the, the, the positiveness of, of, of romance before love mm -hmm. in a very positive manner and marriage in a very negative man manner and they don't focus on the positive examples. They just post on the negative examples, the, the fighting, the, the, the uh, uh, come on, Yanni, it's, it's, it's not but, like uh, this. But we can't it's not in every home. <laughs> okay, Muhammad, <laughs> but, but we can't blame uh, no. uh, the fact that there is partially truth in it as well, that any married life has certain problems. Ups and downs, yeah. Exactly. But, but actually, in the end, uh, you are both, uh, uh, Yanni, surviving for, for Yanni, you are both actually uh, investing in this relationship. You're putting... Uh, yani once once you once one of the two parties start pulling off start to 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 not invest in this relationship start not to communicate not to give not to uh, to really um, uh, build this this uh, yani, uh, positive notion not being grateful or thankful to this relationship this uh, at this moment i believe that love fades out mm -hmm. at this moment yani, and 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 the other party has to really remind him to to give uh, to to uh, um, to renovate the the, 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 the the relationship away or another to reignite love again uh, we have to, to to really be thankful to God about this morning coffee you have to be thankful to God about you know, somebody who's taking care of of, uh, of of us either outside the home or inside the home uh, to to these moments that we uh, really when, when before sleeping and just hugging each other at, at in bed you know and and sleeping these moments are actually Yani, you, can, you can't yani, remind, remind yourself of the days that you, you were single <laughs> and you will know the value of, of these moments, you know. Okay, uh, now two questions have popped into my yeah, mind yeah. right now. Yeah. What are the criteria prior to marriage that maybe would give me a good sign that this relationship will end up in a marriage full of love? Yeah. And at the same time, during this relationship, once it's already in, um, in uh, I mean, complete and yeah. the couple is married, how can you make sure that not one person would lose interest or you know um, shy away like you've explained well actually there there are uh, th three important things the first thing that you have always to focus on why you married and this is actually something that we have to really look at and you have to really remind yourself why you married in the first place and, and this before this you have to put a, a very positive target you, you should have uh, a very good vision of what your home should be and what are your duties as, as, as married couples and this is the first thing the second thing that you have always to re-innovate your relationship you have to revisit uh, actually your your relationship your duties and what you are doing for uh, for your partner and what you're investing how you're investing in this relationship and this is, is something that you have to um, maybe do it uh, monthly or uh, every three months or six months and you have to use a, pa a pen and paper actually to remind yourself mm -hmm. in, in this. The, the third thing that y you have to um, remind yourself of the days that you spent as a single person and you really uh, remind yourself of how lonely you were, how, how eager you wanted this person, how, what, uh, what were your plans having, having him or her and actually putting Yani, every positive feeling and, and giving thanks to Allah and giving thanks to God that you already have him or her yani, and, and being and that you are together. Indeed. Yeah. And we sure hope that everyone would, yeah. would remind those, uh, would be reminded of, of those three points. They are yeah. definitely very precious. Uh, Mr. Muhammad Sharaf Dean, the family consultant and author of The Sacred Bond, thank you very much for your input. Yeah, it was right. a real pleasure. And thank I sure you. hope that every married couple uh, would actually take on and listen carefully to those advices. Thank you very much. You are welcome. We'll go now for a quick break. Um, a song by um, a singer from Port Said. Uh, and we'll then have him in person here with us on Nile Cruise. Shall it most of the time still as 
of the song by Ali Alfi and we're very pleased to have him in person here with us in the studio. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Thank you. So um, a lovely song about Port Said and we know that you originally come from there. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to sing that song? Um, I think that I the stadium, uh, not the accident because uh, all of us as Egyptian we, we need we need the rights of, of, uh, of the guys uh, who killed in, in stadium to they they need to have this right mm -hmm. but uh, I found some of the media channels forced the people to, to have bad emotions against poor Saidian people mm -hmm. so um, I had I, I had to sing this song to s to say that my, my, my city we 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 had a lot of fights to, to defend Egypt n n not not um, we are not criminals. If you if you have a, a problem, it will be with with the crim with the criminals um, who did the crime on the stadium, not against Port Said and the people of Port Said. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wasn't alone in this song. I was with with a nice band. Uh, their name is El Maaddeya. Mm -hmm. They are lovely guys. They are mixing the jazz music with the modern music and the traditional music of El Samsameya of Port mm -hmm. Said. Uh, so uh, I want to say hi al uh -huh. And the main message was that we're all Egyptians and Port Said is only one city of yeah. Egypt. We were, we were talking about uh, Port Said, uh, about our history in Port mm -hmm. Said. We, we fight it, we fight we it a lot. Of course. We, yeah, we, 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 we faced a lot of, of problem and so we have, we have a good history. We have, we have a CV of, of uh, a good CV. We are mm -hmm. not killers. Of course, uh, actually, the, the contrary, um, uh, Port Said is one city that showed real heroism against um, attempts for foreign occupation into Egypt. Um, but usually, I would say that um, your songs are inspired by general events that happen around you, because we know also that you've had a song about the great writer, Galal Amr, after he passed yeah. away. The, this song um, is written and composed and arranged, arranged with a nice band called Bayan Hala. Mm -hmm. Bayan Hala, um, they, are, they are my friends. They called me uh, to, to be uh, like a guest, a guest on this song mm -hmm. we, we recorded. And uh, the result, like, you will, s you will listen now. Yes, I know that we actually have this song, so maybe we can listen to the beautiful song by Ali Al Alfi about uh, the great um, uh, writer Galal Aymer. Let's check it out.
Indeed. So, have you had a special relationship with Raghel Al Ami? I never met him. Mm -hmm. But still, you were only impressed by the writing. Sure. And this made you sure. make the. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he, he wrote that he, he appeared suddenly and he di disappeared suddenly. So, he, he, he was like a like star in, in our sky, um, inspiring us by, by his, his, his wonderful rights. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I want you to sing to us something now live. Uh, I know also that you love all these, so mm -hmm. um, uh, what would you like to okay, sing for let's us? sing for Warda. Uh-huh. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, a lovely voice indeed. So, um, Ali, um, ha, ha, when did you feel that you have this beautiful talent, this great voice? I'm thinking, I'm thinking since I, I was five years old in Port Said. Uh, my parents um, uh, have a good taste in, in, in music, um, so uh, I found in my home uh, a lot of cassette tapes for Um Kulthum, Warda, Leila Murad. Uh, so uh, and uh, I I'm in love with with Angam's voice. Mm -hmm. So um, um, but I studied uh, computer engineering. I'm, I, uh, and I'm working as an engineer. Mm -hmm. But I'm here in Cairo since five years. I started my career uh, with a lot of uh, ba uh, underground bands. We are we had uh, I had a lot of performance and and Sawi Kalshawil and Opera House. Uh, then I started my, my, my personal project at Ali Al Alfi. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had a lot of con uh, many concerts alone uh, as a solo, and mm -hmm. I'm a student in the workshop of the opera with the director Khaled Galel. Um, I'm, I'm now um, learning uh, acting and dancing and supporting my, my singing talent. Mm, indeed. So what is your future plan in brief so that we can have time to listen to something else? Actually, um, I'm, I hope to, uh, to start a good career with, 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 a good pr with a production company, with a producer. Mm. Um, I, hope, I hope to have uh, albums and singles and clips. Yeah, I, I hope to. Indeed. Well, we wish you all the luck. Ali Al Alfi, a great singer indeed. Um, we wish you a very successful career in this field in Thank, you. Thank you very much and we'll wrap it up here but we'll end with the beautiful music I'm singing of Ali Alfi and this takes us to the end of this edition of Nile Cruise. Next week a new edition of the program and a new um, segment for you. مسلم مسيحي مد الايدين صلوا عليك وقت الوداع واللي حسبها وخان وباع هيروح لفين جايله المعاد قوم صلي بينا يا شيخ عماد